Hey, hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we are going to see palindrome program. Okay. Hey, generally, it used to ask like, uh, how can you check whether an uh, st given string is palindrome or not? So likewise, we have one more program like whether the given uh, number is palindrome or not. So number thing we'll talk later. But here in this, we will be talking about uh, a string. Okay. So if 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 any string is given, if you'll read that string from right hand side or left hand side. So both will be same. For example, if you'll read it from right hand side, M A D A M madam, right? If you'll read it from left hand side, M A D A M, then also it is madam. It means it is a palindrome. Likewise for civic also C I V I C or else C I V I C. See, both is same, so it is a palindrome. But if you'll go here and if you'll see here T A T A Tata. Okay, but here if you re re read it from right hand side, A T A T, it is not Tata. So it is not a palindrome. Okay, so let's go here. Let me delete this program. Let me like press one. Plus palindrome. Okay. Okay. Now. Now let's write one method public boolean. Okay, is PLN DRO is palindrome. Okay, one method we are writing. In that method, we are passing one string as yes, the one which we have to check. Okay, so now let me return something. I'll change that value. Okay, now. So now here we have this string, right? So now what we'll do, we'll take the length of that string. Okay. Length is equal to a start, start length. Okay. Now length of that string came. Okay. So here we have that M A D A M. Okay, so what logic will write? Okay, we'll compare this one with this one. Okay, if it is same, then we will proceed further. If it if the next letter is same, then we will proceed further. And this is like same only. Okay, in both the ways, it will be common. So this is a palindrome. If anyone, okay, anyone will not match, then we'll throw directly false. We'll return false like the, the, this uh, string is not a palindrome. Okay, so now. Now length we got right. So here, so what is the advantage is like we are just iterating till half of the string only. Okay, we are not going with full for, uh, full for loop. Okay, so in that only we will get we will compare this with this and this with this one and this with this one. This is already like it is uh, not required because only one character that will be common from this end also and this end also. So now let me go. Take one for loop, int i is equal to zero, i is less than, then s ln by two, okay? Why length by two? Because we will be going till here only, okay? From this side, we will go till here. And from right hand side, we'll go from this side. So that right hand side, I'll handle in this only, with this uh, uh, i, with this i, i is there, right? With that only, we'll handle. Then I plus plus. Now, now, now we have to check if a dot caret i, okay, caret i is not equal to a dot caret c. This caret i zero zeroth position. What is that zeroth position? For example, if we'll pass this string, this madam here. Here, then what will be the zeroth position? So this i in when it will go with the first for the first time, so i value will be zero. Okay, at that time s dot caret i. So the caret i is m. So first it will take here m. Now we are checking it should if this m is not equal to here. Here what we have to take? We have to take this last one. So how to get this last index? So to get that last index. What we have to do, we have to write like this length, length minus one, length minus one because for a string is one, two, three, four, five, the length will come five. But 
but when we will iterate this, if you want to take any value using index, so index start from zero, one, two, three, four. That's what I have given here, one, okay. So now first time what it will do, it will compare with this one. It will take this one and compare with this one. But next when I will become one, so in that case, what will happen? It will take this one, okay. And here also we have to come we have to make it i minus two then only it will take this one likewise we have to keep on decreasing from right hand side and increasing from left hand side okay so what i'll do i will make minus i so why minus i i am doing so when it will be zero so it will compare this one and length minus one minus i so i is zero for the first time so length is five minus four minus zero will be uh, four only right five minus one minus zero will be four. So it will capture this one. When I will become one, so at that time, it will point to s dot caret i. Caret one means it will point here. But this will point length five minus one, four minus one, three. So now it will become three and it will point to this one. That's what I am making. If, so if s dot caret i is not equal to s dot uh, caret length minus one minus i okay then in that case what we have to do we have to return false okay if it is equal then no need to do anything or else will return false okay and we will break this no need to check for that if we if our value is like uh, different then no need to check only no uh, for that at one place itself we can uh, return this okay no okay sorry when it will return then it will not reach here okay so now it will return false else return true okay so if this will not return false it means all the values are same right all the values are equal okay if any one of the value is not equal then it will return false or else we have to return true okay so now See, now let's run this program and see. Okay, let me create one main method. Inside that main method, let me call this program. Okay, so public static we have to make. Otherwise, uh, inside static, non static, if you call, uh, it will not work. Okay, so that's what palindrome and a string let me pass as madam. Okay. So now let me print this. So so what? See this method we have written, right? Is palindrome. So this palindrome is returning boolean. Okay. So if this this string, whatever string we are passing, passing, if this will return whatever boolean value, it will just print that one. Okay. So let me see here. See true. True means it is a palindrome. Let me try with civic. Civic is also palindrome, right? C I V I C and C I V I C. So for this also we should get as true. See, we got true, right? Now let me make it one a civica. C I V I C A. But he from here you will read from this end, it will not be civica right so it means we should get false see it is false so here what is good is we are not iterating with the full, full loop okay so there is one way like you what you have to do you have to like your string will be there now you make one for loop read all these and keep it in other variable from this end like read a then append there then c append there then i append there keep at that in some other string and contents you can make and do that but there you have to iterate with full length okay but here we are not at all iterating with full length just we are taking half and we are iterating till there only and we are able to get the report okay so this is important in interview they will be especially looking into this okay so that's it for this video guys thank you